Formnex 2023 at Elegoo with a massive machine and my friend Kevin. Hey, Kevin. Hi, Hi Joe. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm great. Well, I'm yeah. I'm actually I'm really great because uh -huh. I I really wanted to see this in person, uh -huh. and finally I get to the Orange yeah. Storm Giga. Giga. Yeah. The build volume on this thing 800 yeah. by 800, 800 by one yeah. meter on Z or Z, right? Yes. And it looks like it's four different build plates, four different heated build plates, right? Yes. Are they the Neptune 4 Max size? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that what it is? Okay. Yes, from uh, the, the same build plate from Neptune 4 Max. It does auto bed leveling across the entire yes. surface. Yes. And what standard nozzle does this come with? It comes with a 0 0.6 di uh, diameter nozzle. Oh, perfect. Okay. Yeah, yeah 0 0.4 would have been a little too small for yeah. something like this, yes. right? Now, Elegoo historically has been really successful within uh -huh. the consumer segment. You uh -huh. know, the, the, the Neptune series, the Mars series, uh -huh. a lot of really great consumer offerings. Uh -huh. This, while a more industrial size, uh, yes. is still priced at consumer friendly prices. Uh -huh. And so how did you, as Elegoo, uh -huh. come to creating the Orange Storm Giga? Yeah, that's a very good question. You know, Joe, lots of our customers, they are asking for, uh, for us, like, uh, do you have like a big uh, printer? that can build like the customized uh, furniture or the cosplay suits and also some other customers they're asking that they are building like the film prompts they will need more uh, build volume even bigger than Neptune 4 Max <laughs> and that's why we came with the idea like uh, to offer our customers a, a oversized build volume printers that's why we have this orange storm the Giga. The uh -huh. orange of orange storm is because there are some orange parts on the printer uh -huh. is, is what you tell me because my favorite color is blue <laughs> then if I put blue parts on the printer, can I call it a blue storm giga? You can customize. Uh, it's open source. Oh, perfect. Okay, yeah, yeah. well, good. Well, actually, you mentioned you know the customers, people that wanted to print cosplay, like full size cosplay, yes, or yes. or customized furniture. Uh -huh. This sort of machine really enables people uh -huh. to have a very new aspect to a 3D printing business mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. a lot of times, if we're talking about what Elegoo has currently, such as the Neptune series, the Mars series, uh -huh. these are prints that you can do that most others can. They can they can have a print services bureau uh -huh. and print things for people, have Etsy stores, customized stores. Uh -huh. But now with a machine like this, we're enabling these people to have new products in their store, such as customized furniture, yes. full-size cosplay uh -huh. suits. For the Orange Storm Giga, how long has this been in development at Elegoo? Yeah, actually we started this project like over uh, one year ago. And uh, because we, as mentioned just now, we received lots of customers' emails asking for big build volume printers. And we are thinking that maybe it's time for Elegoo to build out a much bigger printer for our customers. Well, the customers <laughs> though, we're talking about people that probably have themselves Neptune uh -huh. 3 and Neptune 4 Max, which yes. are very large 3D printers. Yeah, yes. And so these are customers who want printers that are even larger. Yes. Have you found that those sort of customers uh -huh. Have they wanted to go away from the traditional moving bed? Because this is ah, a solid bed with yes. you know the the motion system that moves up and down. Elegoo with the Neptune three and the Neptune four machines, uh -huh. they are moving beds. Yes, right. Bed and, slingers. And yeah, bed slingers exactly. <laughs> and this is definitely not a bed yes. slinger. Yes. And so, have customers responded positively to that, uh -huh. or have you found that there have been customers who couldn't? purchase Elegoo machines because uh -huh. they were bed flingers who now can uh -huh. because this is not. Has that been the case? Well, I would say no uh, because this, we are using a, a complete new structure um, which is not bed flingers nor quite so high. It also features a very massive build volume. So I think uh, it's not like uh, customers are looking for a, uh, a another bed slinger with a much bigger build volume. One of the things that I know Elegoo caught mm -hmm. a little bit of heat on uh -huh. is releasing this on Kickstarter. Yes. And many people believe that uh -huh. Kickstarter should not be used by yeah, established yeah. companies. And so yes. I have to ask you, what was the sure. reason for Elegoo using uh -huh. Kickstarter to launch the Orange Storm? Yeah, uh, I have been asked this question a lot because, uh, you know, Kickstarter is a, is a perfect place for makers. There's a lot of uh, makers there, they are looking for new products, new uh, creative products, and uh, I think it's a, a good way to uh, market a new product line to the right audience, so they can get their uh, hands on these uh, new products. And also, in the long run, it is very good for the customers to know that Elegoo has a, a complete different new products for, uh, for, the, for the 3D printing community. So we want to use uh, Kickstarter as a 
a, a, a different platform to uh, to reach out to a new audience that can use our a new new printers. Okay. Yeah. Oh, I see. I see. So you're not a small business kickstarting, but uh -huh. you're saying Kickstarter itself, as a promotional platform, provides you a lot of visibility uh -huh. to the people who might be interested in your product. Yes, because uh, I think on our website there are customers they are already uh, aware of Elegoo. They are using Elegoo's products, but for Kickstarter, they have lots of uh, new customers out there who are interested to try new products. Well, for those customers that are pledging on the Kickstarter uh -huh. and, and getting in and wanting to try new products, uh -huh. what sort of timeline are we looking at for the Orange Storm Giga to be in the hands of people? Definitely working hard on the production and starting to ship the Giga out to, uh, to our customer hands, probably from next uh, April. And uh, we sold out uh, 1,006 units in less than four days, and we add another 500 because a lot of ca customers are asking that they cannot buy this one. So we add uh, 500 more stock to the uh, Kickstarter. So I think uh, after the Kickstarter campaign is over, we will work really hard on the production and the quality control. Then we will uh, ship out the, all the printers to our customers. So this isn't going to be in customers' hands for Christmas? They have to wait for at least April. Okay, yeah, yeah. so they can make springtime and summertime furniture, is yeah, what you're definitely. saying. There, there yeah, we go. Yeah. How has this been for Elegoo? Because you know, historically with the smaller machines, this has been a, a success. I've seen the Kickstarter, you've raised lots of money with the uh -huh. Kickstarter, and the response to the size and scope of this machine is incredibly positive. Mm -hmm. Is this signaling a change within Elegoo? Do you envision that more machines such mm -hmm. as this, more professional and industrial targeted machines are mm -hmm. in your future? Well, uh, I would say that it will be more industrial printers, but uh, I would say Giga is definitely our first step to target our commercial customers. And uh, because, you know, this market is, is changing a lot every day, so there's customers who are needing, uh, they're, they're needing different uh, building volume uh, when it comes to 3D printing. So we want to make sure that we have the right to, uh, to our customers who have different printing demands. We definitely want to offer our customers the, uh, a wide range of uh, different uh, printers that they can choose. So uh, each customer with a different background or different uh, printing demand, they can have the right too. Okay. Yeah. Well, you know, I, I want to bring something up because uh, uh -huh. here at Formnext, Prusa talked about Prusa Pro yeah, with, target, yeah. with products targeted to a more professional clientele. Mm -hmm. And so this obviously is targeted towards a more professional clientele. This isn't going to be in most people's garages. <laughs> the, you know, the purpose of this machine is to build things that people are most likely, a lot of people are going to sell. The customers, yeah, yeah. you know, for this machine are people that have uh -huh. print service bureaus yes. and, yeah. and they want to sell things. And so is Elegoo going to look at doing something similar to Prusa and having a, a professional arm? Of uh, I would say we will do something different, but uh, this this printer, I would say for the customers, they are commercial customers, they will probably use this printer in their office, not in a garage, but it's, it's too big, they would <laughs> take up so many sp uh, space. They would have to keep yeah. the car in the driveway and put this in the garage yeah. instead, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, one of the things <laughs> that I was really interested in uh -huh. is the shipping of this. I know uh, that you're not shipping until April, is what yes. you said, you yes. know, next year, right? Yes. After Christmas, don't worry about yes. it. But when we were talking before we started filming, you uh -huh. mentioned that the bottom unit is all one piece. Yes. And some of the sides are put together, uh -huh. and so it's still it's still a couple pieces and yes. should be easy to put together, but it's still a couple of massive pieces. Yes. Have you thought about any issues for getting this to customers? Yeah, so uh, first one is the packaging. It's a, a big box, wood box. It's like a big, big box, yeah. like a big, big box. Yeah, Does yeah. it have to be on a crate? Uh, yes, it has to be on the crane. And okay. also, when assembling, it will require at least two or three people to assemble this printer. Really? That's how we assemble this printer. <laughs> this is so too big. So you have to have someone near you to hold this, this, uh, this structure, and then you can, around, uh, you can assemble this printer. Oh. Yeah. You know, sometimes I do live broadcasts and I uh -huh. do assemblies of printers on these live broadcasts. And <laughs> yeah. so, you know, if this shows up at my studio one day and I have to do it live, I'll have to have my you kids probably... come help me out. This is a really cool offering. And uh -huh. I love that you've kind of gone this way because mm -hmm. the Neptune series uh -huh. yeah, is very consistent. It's yes. very predictable in uh -huh. what's going to happen with yes. it. And this was completely out of left field. No one yeah. had any clue this was coming out until you started teasing yeah, yeah, yeah. it. And so I'm excited to see the reception to this. Uh -huh. And I can't wait for next year when people get these and yeah, start yeah, printing yeah. with it. 
where can people go? In fact, there's the camera right uh -huh. there. Look into the camera okay. and let everybody know uh -huh. where they can find out more information about the Orange Storm Giga. Yes, you can visit Alec.com and visit more information. And also you can uh, visit us on Kickstarter as well. There we go. Yeah. Well, if you made this far, it's awesome. Don't forget to hug each other more. Fight for a cause you believe in. Uh -huh. Print all the big things. And as always, high five. High Ready? Five. You want one? Yeah. yeah. Ooh, crisp. <laughs>